Hello and welcome. Hey, I recently came across some unpublished footage of a trail ride that I took last fall on my Huffy Cranbrook clunker bike. Now, autumn is definitely my favorite season, and since it's so cold and snowy here in Maine as I record this, I thought this might be a nice look back at some slightly warmer days. But before we get too far along, let me recap the bike's specs. As I said, it's a Huffy Cranbrook. I bought it off the floor at Walmart for $88, and almost immediately I began stripping it of any parts that it did not absolutely need. Now, my intent was to make a clunker bike, like the very early mountain bikes. And if you want to learn more about those early days of the sport, I very highly recommend the movie Clunkers, and that's Clunkers with a K. I believe it is still available on Amazon Prime, and uh, there is a link to the trailer on the description. So, the basic frame and wheels were there. To that, I added some knobby tires that I got for $10 each when Kmart was closing, a coil stem adapter, a used carbon fiber handlebar, and a new BMX front brake. And I suppose, in some respects, this modern clunker could be thought of as a rigid, single-speed mountain bike, as well as a nifty cruiser, if one is very generous in their definitions. On this particular day, I was riding at the Hallowell Reservoir Trails in Hallowell, Maine. In a previous video, I showed another part of this ride on a trail called the Bucket Trail, which included some climbing. Now, I will be honest, this bike is no more geared for climbing off-road than it is on-road. So, yeah, there was some hiking involved. This trail is called Piney Woods. The terrain on Piney Woods is a more uh, rolling terrain, I guess, as opposed to hilly. That makes this a great trail for this 45-pound single-speed bike. And on a couple of occasions, I have brought new riders here for an introduction to trail riding because it is fairly, uh, fairly easy. And I wish, I really wish, that YouTube was able to convey the intoxicating aroma of the woods to you. This trail really does live up to its name in this respect. I just love the smell of the woods in autumn, and in particular, the parts that run through evergreen stands. On the subject of clunker bikes and single speeds, I recently saw a video that featured a product that I didn't even know existed. It's an adapter for the large diameter bottom bracket shells on cruiser and BMX bikes that allows you to install smaller, more conventional bottom brackets, such as a sealed square taper or external bearings. Well, that got me thinking. A dangerous practice, I know. But here's the thing. I have a couple of spare riveted triple chainring square taper crank sets that I currently have no use for. What if? What if I got one of those adapters and installed a triple crank set on the Cranbrook? It would technically then be a three speed, I suppose and a 22 tooth small chainring would definitely make climbing a lot easier. In fact, you know, I think I'm gonna give this a shot later on this spring just to see if it is actually doable. Now, keep in mind, I said doable, not practical. Big difference. <laughs> Hmm. 
One of the things that I like about this build is that it shows that you don't have to drop a big old pile of cash to have fun. I have been and I remain a fan of budget friendly bikes. Now, I know budget friendly can mean different things to different people, but I think you see my point. I was able to keep this build under $140 with some careful shopping and reuse of components that I already had on hand. However, I noticed that as of February 15, 2021, the Cranbrook was now listed for $170 on Walmart's website. That's more than I've got into this entire build. No doubt that's an effect of the supply chain disruption and the high demands which are so well documented elsewhere. So, if you want to build a Cranbrook clunker, sadly, it's going to cost more. On the other hand, you might be able to pick up a used beach cruiser style bike and make your own unique version of a clunker, which has a certain attraction too. Something to think about anyway. All in all, this was a great ride on a lovely autumn day on a trail that I really enjoy. And you know, with all the stuff going on in the world this past year, it was nice to get away from it all, even if it was only for a little while. So I encourage you to get out and ride whatever you have, whether it's on-road or off-road, and to not let anything stop you or slow you down, unless you're on the road and you come to a stop sign, obviously. Below left is a playlist for the Cranbrook, and below right is a link to another video that I'm pretty sure you will enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate that. Goodbye and have a great day.